let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So therefore, when we come to a point in fact of time in life where we just don't know what to do, we can ask ourselves, what would Jesus do at this point? And what the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost will do is guide you to the Word of God. The Word of God has an answer for every complex situation that we are confronted with, even in the 21st century, that we think nobody has the answer to anything. Amen. Glory to God. But we're here to tell you that the answer is still found in the Word of God. You ain't got to say amen. I'm going to preach it now. Well, do it. Amen. It says, nor by word. Lord, have mercy. First of all, before you go to the word, don't be troubled in your spirit. As citizen kings, we must maintain a healthy spirit, man. Amen. In order to maintain, uh, amen, a healthy spirit, man, we must do things that right. make the spirit. Preacher, what are some of the things that make the spirit strong? Well, you can pray. Associated that with a fast that makes your spirit man sensitive. Come on. When we give God praise, we got to understand that praise don't come from the outside in. We're looking outward trying to find something Amen. That will motivate us to praise God. And when we look around, we don't see anything. We just see constituents. We see our neighbors. We see those that we can't stand. We see those that we got contempt with. Come on, somebody. How in the world can you praise God looking for something outward and you don't see anything that'll help you glorify? This thing works from the inside out. In other words, when you look into your own existence and uh, begin to contemplate and begin to calculate and see what God has done in your life, then you will conclude that he's worthy. Amen. Now, somebody at some point and somewhere have deceived the society to think that praising God is savage. Oh my, oh my. Praising God is unseemly. Yeah, that's bad conduct. Yeah. That's showing bad manners in the house of God when you shout. That's showing God, you know, that's showing bad manners in the church when you stand up and clap your hands. You showing bad manners in the church. Come on here. When you decide you want to run the aisle or do a dance, y'all are saying that. Hey Amen. We are dignified around here. We don't play that kind of stuff. Oh Amen. But you're going to find out one day that your praise is all you're going to have left. Say so. And don't think that God is a God, amen, that will, Lord have mercy, amen, reduce us to the lowest common factor. And all we got left is the praising. Why we don't God to break you down to almost nothing? To get a hallelujah out your mouth when you can go ahead and do it anyhow. Why you got your life? Why you got your health? Why you got your strength? Why you got your beauty? Hallelujah. Why you got your bling? Why you got your chin chin? Come on, somebody. Why you can't praise him now? Why you got to wait till you take two or three trips to the ICU unit? Now you want to tell the Lord, oh, the Lord is a healer. He brought me, but praise him now. work with carnal thinking. You can't do spiritual work with carnal thinking. You can't handle God's business and carry out God's business with a carnal mind. Yes. You gotta have the mind of Christ operating on the inside. Look at somebody and say, don't let it shake you. Don't let it shake you. Like a thug, y'all ain't saying 
and I'm howling my support the new spiritual word, thinking like a hoochie mama. How can I do spiritual work? Lord have mercy. Thinking like a drug dealer. How? All right, all right. Tell me how. I'm listening. Hallelujah. So it says, neither be troubled by word. Because somebody said, don't let it shake you. Don't let it shake you. I'm here to tell you today, we used to say a little thing that sticks and stones may break my bone, but words will never hurt me. That's a lie. We know that ain't the truth. That's a lie. Hey amen. So long you'll discover, hey amen, that words can pierce you all the way down to the marrow. Say so. And don't add a little tone to it. Don't add a little flavor to it. It'll go beyond the marrow and pierce right through one bone into the other. Mm. But Paul had encouraged those at Thessalonica, don't let the words, the vain words, don't let them shake you. Don't be troubled by these things. Gossip. Accusations. False accusations. Amen. Folk get on the telephone and talk about all kinds of stuff. Talk about the leadership. Talk about the constituents. Talk about the preacher. Talk about his wife. They ain't got nothing to talk about about the church. Say so. Because you need to get a life, and that's all you got to talk about. Yeah. Oh my! <laughs> Everything will not go at according to plan. Nobody gets to have their way all the time. How about that? Yeah. All right. Amen. 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 And when we don't get our way, we should not let that shake us. But just be patient because the wheel of fortune will land on your name at some point and at some time. Amen. 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 But guess what? When you have your way, glory to God, the season is going to change. And it's going to be somebody else's turn to have it their way. Don't go your way all the time. Oh, my. Oh, my. So it says, not by word, amen, don't let the things that you say Amen. Cause controversy in your neighborhood. Don't let the things that you say cause controversy on the job. Don't let the things that you utter out of your mouth bring condemnation to your brother, bring condemnation to your sister. We're supposed to be spiritual builders and edifiers one of another. Truth that, truth that. You can't do that with all that shuck and jive that comes from our mouth. Say so. Say so. Lord have mercy. Jesus. So it says, no by letter from us. Amen. Now, we look at the authority right here as the apostles began to send instruction to each church. They had to do it by letter because they were incarcerated for lifting up the name of Jesus, for preaching salvation. Come on. But they came to the fact of the matter that even though we're locked up, the church is still going to go forward. So what we got to do is send instruction by letter. Now, these days are basically over, but now we must understand that people are still writing letters. They're still writing down stuff. Come on here. And that cause dissimulation and uh, to cause amen, confusion. And uh, they'll cause you just, just like throwing a rock and hiding your head. Come on. Glory to God. They'll send things that don't edify but tear down. And they'll do it with the pen and the paper. Uh, but no, no matter what somebody does, no matter what somebody says, or what somebody writes down, glory to God, we must focus on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I understand that in this 21st century, there are so many higher up of spiritual beings that people rather look up than to Jesus, but I've come to find out, glory to God, that before it's all over, Jesus is still going to get the last say. I was even looking the other day at Malcolm X's movie, and I said if this thing is any accuracy, has any accuracy to it, amen, they were talking about the Honorable Muhammad, come on here, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, if you will, but at every now and then they had to quote a New Testament scripture, and when Malcolm X went in to talk to the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I, you know, he went all the way back 
to Genesis and then start quoting the word of God. So that does let me know that sometimes people can be a little, you know, misguided or misled, but deep down in their spirit they know that the infallible word of God is going to be the last of the last of the last principle that God judges the world, that God renews the earth. Come on here. Of God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Uh, yes, and so therefore we're looking for other ways to get the job done. But Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. And no man goes to the Father but through by me. But then he turned around and uh, understood that some folk had got smart enough to find the true and living God by another way. So he said, well, I am the door. And if any man comes in through any other way, he comes in as a thief and a robber. He said that he wouldn't make it, but the way he came in wasn't the right way. You can do the right thing and do it the wrong way. That's just like doing the wrong thing in any kind of way. So then we came to encourage your spirit. <laughs> you pushing me, that's all right. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah, they tell me that there are some things that you can do with your mind. Amen. While you're in the midst, amen, of confusion. While you're in the midst of sorrow. While you're in the midst of pain. First of all, you got to conclude in your mind that whatever I hear on the radio, whatever I hear on the TV, whatever I read on the internet, if it's not positive information, I'm not going to let it shake me. Amen. I'm going to stand firm. Lord have mercy, or just 
Oh, God. 